It's locked. Nobody at home. Welcome, sir. Please, take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me. Came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever. Madness. Something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Have you been hurt? No. But that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse, then? Always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. So she's trying to help her fellow immigrants. Why would that make her a villain? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse Crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Right then, show me what you have. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist. I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson, Sam. A colossus joke at most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine, and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. 
I offered to give her hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. May I ask what you do around here? I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. You survive at any cost, even at the expense of others. Perhaps that's just the law of nature. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come on in. I'm a Harry, by the way. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like... Well, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Forgive my bluntness, young man, but you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? You have a roof over your head, a place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I, I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes. I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. She said I should go out more. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. 
Even my dreams are soaked with glue. It's locked, all right. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. I'm cheap and I'm clean. I'm... Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. But be quick, though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her, but I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania, like me and many others. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London. And you could be exposed or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't like you asking questions. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger, too. And you think that would worry me? <laughs> if you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. <laughs> Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. There's nobody here. Forgive my interruption. 
Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses. But I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. So, you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know, blinded by science as I am? But you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. I am. But the answers I seek are based on facts, not superstition. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. No. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, 